Hello traders, uh, today is the 13th of May 2010 and this uh, video is about the consolidation pattern, okay? We know that according to the market pattern we have a trend, consolidation and then a new trend, okay? It may be the same trend, continuation or a change of trend after the consolidation. On this uh, chart here, I have the daily chart of platinum metal, okay? As you can see here, if you follow my cursor here, there was a downtrend before, okay? There was a downtrend here before, and then the price went up a bit, and then there is a consolidation here. On this chart right here, we can see that the price is bouncing between this resistance level here, if you follow my cursor here, and this uh, support zone here. These are zones, they are not uh, levels as such, they are zones because it went down, okay, a bit here. These are zone two zones, okay, and the price is bouncing between these two zones, okay, mainly these two zones, okay. This is a consolidation period, okay. After a trend, the market will rest, okay, or the market will pause, okay. So we have, during a trend, the volatility is quite high, okay. So the market is going boom, 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 boom in one direction, either up or down with a high volatility. High volatility will be expressed by the size of the candle, huge, yeah, huge size of candle, like, a big size of candle in one direction, either to the upside or to the downside. And then suddenly we have a period where the price is squeezed between two levels, okay? It couldn't break each level at all. So it's going up and down, up and down. And here you break it a bit, they push it back up. Now it's right here now, okay? This is a quiet period, a low volatility period. That's when you will notice that the Bollinger Band, the Bollinger Band 50 volatility too, will be a little bit squeezed. And you wait till the price break out of the boss. Nobody knows which direction the price will, will break out either to the outside or to the downside. Here, as you can see, it break this level here. This was a false breakout, as you can see here. It break this resistance level here, went down. People will think that now we have a downtrend starting, okay? But as I say to you, you wait for the pullback to retest this level here in order to confirm to this level here as a resistance level. But it did not confirm it as a resistance level. Look at this candle here. Boom! It break it again out, okay? So if you sell here without waiting for the retesting or the validation of this level as a resistance level, you will be taken out with this candle here, okay? That's why it's very, very important to wait for the price to retest and to confirm that level as a support or resistance level, depending on which side the price is breaking out from, okay? So as you can see here, it breaking, you know, this was a huge candle here, giving a false signal that there is a strong bearish pressure. Originally it was, this candle is a quite huge bearish candle, followed by this, okay? But if you are a professional trader, you won't be in this game. You will definitely sell at the top here because you notice that there is a consolidation going on. You will set a sell at this resistance level here and take your profit here. That's what you do during the consolidation period. You sell at this resistance level and you quickly take your profit at the support level. And then when the price turns around again, you buy again here and then you sell again here. And then you do the same thing over and over till the consolidation is over. So this is when the oscillator like uh, the stochastic or the RSI are very useful. You use them to bounce up, down, up, down during a quiet period by noticing the size of your Bollinger Band or by measuring the volatility or using the indicator of the volatility or the VIX indicator to tell you exactly which kind of market are we in because it's very important to know that whether we are in a trending market or a, 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 a quiet period, okay? So right here, we notice that we are in a quiet period. So you sell here, you buy here, you sell here, you buy here, you sell here, you buy here, okay? But now, there was a false breakout here. So if you are a professional trader, you wait for a retest of this level here, but there was no validation of this line as a resistance level. So the price break out again, and quickly, you see, that's why this candle was so huge. As soon as it, it did not confirm it, people joined it straight away during this day here, and then it just continued boom, 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 boom to the outside, because a lot of why these candles are quite huge here. 
the reason why they are quite huge moment please i want to check how many minutes ago now the reason why these candles are quite huge is that a lot of traders start selling straight away after they notice this huge candle here they say oops there's something going on here the price is the the the, the platinum is going down okay so they start selling here you see but quickly the price did not retest before and the people just sold them and that's what they call uh, a bear squeeze the bear was squeezed okay they are squeezed out of the position and the price just went now again boom 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 up creating a bullish pressure because they are obliged to close their bearish position and now by closing their bearish position they become a bias plus the new buyers coming in to buy at this level here the price uh, went up where it was flying in fact it's just flying boom 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 to here now now we are this resistance level here now the smart man as you follow this week or the antenna of this uh, huge candle here okay the antenna here they took their profit now okay that's the smart thing to do you take your profit do not assume that it's going to break and continue to the upside in fact that's not the best thing to do if it break out here if the platinum metal break this uh, resistance level here and continue the movement to the upside strongly that will be the first the first elliott wave if you watch my previous video. if you break it out strongly okay not like this one here these are not strong breakout okay so this is a weak one we don't we don't pay attention to them we want it to break it really big time okay two or three candle up okay two at least yeah boom boom up big one yeah huge strong bullish candle come out boom up okay then this leg from here if it happen if it happen it will be the first elliott wave okay and then we we don't enter that we wait for a pullback to retest this level very important if you retest it plus huge volume at this uh, level here valid support level plus high volume we will enter and then we we start the third wave but that remain to be seen so we keep our eyes on this uh, uh, particular uh, metal the platinum metal we know that it's in a consolidation zone telling us there's a chance that we may experience a new trend either uh, in the same direction uh, like the previous trend or in the opposite direction to the previous trend so we keep watching this very carefully and i know for sure that the professional are busy watching this metal also right now and if you break out hugely break time so if you want to day trade this is very interesting to work carefully this level on the day trading and if you break out on a day trade on an hourly chart and retest you, know, you may play that for day trading but if you want to enter the third wave you need to come to the daily chart and with a valid pullback retesting this uh, level here plus huge volume and then you enter the beginning of the third wave nicely to be rewarded nicely and you come out at the end of the third wave because it's not your father business you want to take your money uh, quickly like the professional traders and don't waste your time losing your the, the money that you have uh, earned uh, uh, during your trading okay so this video is about consolidation and also uh, how the psychology of this uh, is from it. During this period, we usually have uh, a low volume because it's a quiet period. Not many big traders are this. Uh, so people are playing up and down like a tennis up and down, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong here. It's a low volume section, okay? As soon as it break out, everybody notice that, that it break out, okay? So it will be in the news that, uh, oh, we're going to see platinum. You see, oh, suddenly the analyst coming out that uh, platinum will go this level, blah, 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 blah. You don't pay attention to that you wait you follow for the pullback to retest nicely plus huge volume right here and you do exactly what they want to do themselves okay and you are rewarded in the third wave end of the third wave using your fibonacci extension and your fibonacci retracement you have a better idea how far the price will go and then you take your profit right there and go away and look for another third wave okay till next time enjoy yourself and be very very happy thank you